Hi, I'm Harrison, and today on this video, I'll be speaking about distractions within the U.S. Now, culture wars within the United States distracted the nation from defining its natural role in globalization. Now, the key point of this video is not the stress globalization in the dawning age of it in America, but it's more centered around distractions within the U.S. and how easily Americans can be distracted. Americans within the U.S. and America as a whole kind of reminds me of a brother and sister relationship. Like brother and sister, the nation fights within itself. But this is only to preoccupy their time until an opponent or other nation in this case comes in to challenge them. Then like brother and sister, the nation unifies to fight its opponent or challenger. In real life, this can be equated to George Bush's election in 2000. The, uh, as the book says, uh, the nation was divided more than ever until the terrorist attack of 9-11 in 2001. Um, the book describes it as the nation immediately got behind George Bush and we decided to invade Afghanistan. Incidentally, at the same time, Bush hears that there are weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, so we invade them as well. But we never found anything, or at least they said they never found anything. Now, a question I have to ask is, if we had found something in Iraq, would we have stayed longer or would we have left because we found what we were looking for? And if we had stayed longer, would we further be in deeper than what we are now and were? And if we found actual evidence and we knew 100% that they existed but we couldn't find them, would the people of America know? Or would it stay a secret to avoid mass panic around the United States? Um, the government is pretty good at keeping secrets. Um, I guess an example could be Obama telling us that Osama bin Laden had been assassinated and America didn't even know until Obama told us. I personally wouldn't want to know all the secrets of the government trade. I'd be terrified to know every single thing that the government knows that they're not telling us. Now, um, moving on, I guess another example for um, distractions within the United States um, is, I guess, the nation point must have wait until the last minute and point fingers at people. They never want to listen when people will tell them a problem is coming and they'll wait until the last minute to point fingers. I guess and another example could be Clinton towards the end of his term before he was impeached, uh, pushed for more gun control laws. Uh, later, it turned out that he was correct. In 1999, two students from the Columbia High School killed 12 other students and a teacher with uh, with weapons. Blame was pointed towards movies, TV shows, music, video games, and failed parenting. But later, it turned out that Clinton was right. It was because we have weak gun control laws and we tried to better suit them to save more lives. Um... It's as, it's as if people in the United States are just waiting for a tragedy to happen and the nation needs the, these distractions to preoccupy their time um, because they don't want to face the reality of the outside world. People are dying every day because of cancer, AIDS, and people are dying in Africa because they don't have enough water. People are fighting over stuff that we have here that is so simple, but we abuse this. Examples of an, another example of distractions in America be war on gay America or even abortion. And today, I guess another example could be the Trayvon Melvin case. Our nation is dwindling and spiraling into more and more debt, but we're fighting over stupid things like what two people do behind closed doors. This is ridiculous. It I don't understand. Um, if we don't learn how to cope with the fact that people are going to live their lives, we're going to be doomed. And we need to learn how to live with it and face it. And we need to unify as a country and just try to make everything better. Thank you.